Hey everyone, today I'm back with another vlog from New Zealand. We're just on our way to Milford Sound, which is basically a massive fjord with waterfalls and a whole shebang. But before we get there, we're also gonna make a few stops on the way because apparently there's some nice lakes on the way and nice lookout points. Our first stop was Eglinton Valley. To be honest, it's not that impressive. It's a glacier valley, but I've seen a lot of similar ones before. The reason I think everyone stops here is because they filmed Lord of the Rings here. It's like one of the filming locations, but I'm not really a fan of the movie. I haven't even watched it properly, so <laughs> I can't say that. It's like super, super special for me. Our next stop is Mare Lakes. It's only a couple of kilometers away from the Eglinton Valley. You don't need more than five minutes to walk around, but yeah, it's pretty self-explanatory. It's a lake with a reflection of the mountains behind. made it to Milford Sound. What you need is sunscreen <laughs> um, because of the ozone layer, something really warm to wear because we're actually going on a boat and it's really windy and it's quite cold, like the temperature is quite low. And also hardcore insect repellent like this because there's a lot of sand flies over here and they're kind of worse than mosquitoes. We opened the car door for like a second and look at the amount of flies that's already inside. Oh my god. Just picked up our boarding passes for the nature cruise. Snack time. Most people snack on fruit. <laughs> I snack on baby plum tomatoes. it to our next destination Queenstown where we'll be staying for the next two days well today and tomorrow we are staying at the Coronet View bed and breakfast so let me show you around first and then we'll go explore the city this is where you come in here's the bed the high one which I love we have plenty of closet space over here so I might take advantage of it and unpack for the two days that I'm here because I just am not feeling the living out of the suitcase life anymore. Here's the bathroom with a shower, like that, a sink and a toilet. And then this is the view, which is just incredible. I'm going to show you how it looks like from the outside because we have like a terrace. Before I go to the terrace, here's the communal area, the dining table as well, and a kitchen that we can use. And this is the view from the terrace. How incredible. We're going to the town now. I didn't expect Queenstown to be so hilly. Basically all the houses are on the hills and it seems like I'm in San Francisco because the hills are unreal. Getting to our B&B was <laughs> quite an experience. But now we're going to the town to hopefully try out Fern Burger, which is a very popular burger place. And apparently there's an hour long queue, like all the time. <laughs> so we'll see if we'll go or maybe save it for tomorrow lunchtime. Otherwise there, there's apparently um, tons more other restaurants to check out. So yeah, to be declared. <laughs> Good morning from Queenstown. Today I'm starting my day at Bob's Cove, which is a lake side area, I guess, with some beaches. I can see people around driving with jets and stuff like that. But I'm planning to 
climb up a hill <laughs> for some really nice views. I only have half an hour to make it up the hill, but supposedly you need about 45 to 50 minutes, so I'm trying to walk really fast. I need to be back on time because we have another activity booked after this, so oh, let's see if I can make it. Look at this crystal clear water. Wow. It's probably really freezing cold though. <laughs> I think I made it. Oh my god. I did it. I even made it on time. Actually, five minutes early. But was it worth it? I'm not sure. It wasn't the view that I wanted to see. The view that I saw on Insta photos. There's supposed to be like two lakes with like really turquoise water and there was only one lake the view was still nice though and at least i burned like half of the burger from yesterday hopefully but yeah the last hill up was really 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 steep and there was a lot of like gravel on the road like lots of slippery stones which wasn't such a problem on the way up but on the way down I had jelly legs for sure at least I couldn't see like any cliffs <laughs> on the bottom end so I didn't feel as unsafe as I could anyway I'm on my way back now we're off to do an adrenaline type of activity because apparently you haven't been to Queenstown if you don't do something adrenaline related bungee jump or something like that because this is like the I don't know, adrenaline capital of the world, they call it. I'm not an adrenaline type of person, but I did sign us up for a shoot over jet, I believe it's called. It's basically a speedboat driving through a gorge. So it looks like you're gonna crash into rocks and it also makes 360 degrees turns. was epic if you're ever in queenstown you have to go do it even if you're a bit of a chicken otherwise you'll regret it i had so much fun i would love to do it like 10 more times today honestly We just took the skyline gondola up the mountain and this is the view of Queensland. Wow. So we're giving the fur burger another try here. quite quickly and then we waited an additional 15 minutes or so for 
for the burgers so not that bad it was definitely one of the best i've ever tried so worth it in comparison to the devil burger which is also one of the popular burger places in queenstown but there's no queues there <laughs> the locals usually tell you to go there to like avoid the firm burger crowds and still get a yummy burger i personally prefer the fern burger way more um the devil burger was just like too bready for me and there was also like a, an indian spice like i could taste it inside the burger that i'm not a fan of so yeah fern burger gets my vote but yeah that was basically the end of my queenstown adventure so i'm gonna wrap up this vlog if you enjoyed it don't forget to give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe for more new zealand vlogs and i'll see you soon bye about to leave already packing come with me i'm not really asking